Hi guys. Um, while I'm out, I, there's a couple of things I want you to do. Um, I want you to fill out, there's a two question form, just two questions and um, turn that in. And then I'm going to ask you to use a pattern to make a pixel art piece. So you can actually use perler bead patterns to make pixel art on scratch. Perler beads are those little plastic beads that you put together on a form and then you like iron them together and they stick together. You can use those same patterns to make pixel art. So the first thing that you're going to do is click um, Hello Google Forms and you're going to pick um, which period you have me and you're going to accurately fill in your Scratch username. You don't have to give me your password, but I need exactly your username with all the punctuation and capitalization that you have. And then you're going to click submit on that and you'll get a couple of points for participation for that. And then I want you to go to this page and you're going to pick out a pattern that you're going to make in Scratch. So I picked one out already and I am going to pick, I've always wanted to make one. This is Pusheen the cat. I like the narwhal too, but I think I'm going to make Pusheen the cat. Pusheen. Okay, so you click that pattern and you can actually just like leave this pattern open and then open up a new tab in Scratch and click Create. Okay, so while it's creating and then what I'm going to do is up in the top right hand corner, I'm going to click on the, um, the maximize. Actually, I'm going to click on the, what's this called? Restore down is that middle um, button. There's like the minimize, there's close, and then there's restore down. And it's going to allow me to change the size of this window. And then I'm going to drag out the Pusheen pattern so I can see it at the same time. I'm going to make this a little smaller so I can see Pusheen. So I can see it right next to there as I'm creating it. And then I'm going to delete out the kitty cat. I'm going to call this Pusheen. So you can call it whatever you're making. Oh my goodness, that's the longest. That is the longest title I've ever seen. Pusheen. Okay, and then I'm going to create Sprite. I'm going to paint my Sprite. I can zoom. You make sure you use these scroll bars back here so you can uh, zoom in and zoom out. I'm going to convert to bitmap and then I'm going to zoom way in. The way you know you're in, like if it's vector, you'll have all these smooth looking tools. And if you convert to bitmap, you'll see all these pixelated tools. So you zoom, 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 zoom. Okay. And then I'm going to click on the brush tool and then I'm going to minimize that to um, size one. I might need to zoom in a little bit more because you can see that square is very different than the square for Pusheen. Okay. And I'm going to change this to black. Okay, so this is my black. And I'm just going to start with, uh, I'm going to count, right? So Pusheen needed one, two. And some of this I'm going to have to estimate. It looks like two. Three, one, oop, two, three, four. Actually, I'm going to need to undo. So, if you don't want to um, spend so much time making this, you don't have to choose such an elaborate. Pusheen is pretty elaborate, so I'm not going to finish this whole thing. I just wanted to show you guys how to make something that you could be feel really proud of because I know a lot of you chose the um, and I'm just I'm not really counting the number here. I'm just kind of estimating. It looks like one, two, three, four over this way and two, three. So on on this side, you can count the number of squares. But over here, you just kind of have to estimate one, two. And two, and there's the tip of his ear. Oh, that's so cute. And then three, 
to make his ear. And then it's just kind of like the same pattern back and forth. So I'm going to pause here while I continue making this and then um, I will, when I'm finished, oops, when I'm finished, I'll bring it back up. Okay, so you can see I've finished the outline of the cat and I'm just going to count one, two, three, four, just to get the placement of his facial features correct. I'm having to count a little bit and then it's over one and then up one for the eye. That looks good. Okay, so I've got his general outline, and then I'm going to do the rest of the dark gray and the pink, and then I'll do the light gray as a bucket fill, so I don't have to do every one individually. So for this one, I'm going to do um, the color... Well, I guess I'll do his pink cheeks, maybe. And then, oh, I'll put brightness here. And then it looks like his pink cheeks are kind of orangey, like that. That looks good. And then where is that? That's up to the outer edge, right? And then I'm going to start filling in with the gray color. So I don't really know how to get this gray color. It looks kind of, oh, there. I guess you just do saturation. I've never done this before, so. Okay, so I've got the gray color and I'm just gonna kind of fill in where we have the gray. Okay, so I'll pause here so you can. Okay, so here's what I was talking about, the bucket fill, he's got this big, area of light gray in the middle. So what I'm going to do, and you could sort of see Pusheen, my Pusheen is a little bit wider on one side than he is on the other. I kind of messed up, but I'm not looking for perfection here. I just think that this is fun. So in order to get that really light gray, I'm going to take the brightness and drag it over just a little bit and then make sure I have the bucket tool and then I'll be able to fill in the rest of that area. And then I could fill there and there and there. So there he mostly is. You can sort of see he's a little fuller on this side than he is on that side because I, I messed up down here a little bit. That's okay, though. I don't mind. I think he's really cute, actually. So that's my Pusheen. And if you remember, you're just going to click Share. And, oh, look how tiny he is. So I have to go inside, back inside, and then I'm going to maximize this. And then i got to change his size to like six. Enter. Maybe he should be. Maybe he should be one thousand. Maybe he should be two thousand. Yes. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I love him. I love Pusheen. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm gonna stop right there, and I'm gonna go to the project page, and I'm gonna copy the link. There's a little button there that says copy link. Copy that link. And I'm going to go back into the pixel art assignment, click here, and I am going to add project and add my Pusheen. There you go. And that is the end of that. Have fun.